this is the heat exchanger part for the outside. Got two water lines feeding in here coming from our spring. This is an old tank that we already had come back from my grandfather. It's probably 50 years old. Turned out to be pretty much exactly the right size that I needed, so we repurposed it. I've got two coils inside there. They're just hot water boiler coils. The one's 24 by 24. The other one I think is like 18 by 22, the smaller one but the pump just fills this up with spring water. It's gonna flow through the two coils and out the end there. And hopefully it'll move enough heat that we can run those miners up there. <clears throat> it's just a trial and error at this point. I'll probably try some shell and tube exchangers or something like that later on. This is what I had currently available. Didn't have to buy anything, so. We're just gonna try this for now. I'm trying to fire up three or four of them. So I think this is probably enough coil with the volume of water. But if it's not, you know, we'll have to make corrections and adjust. All right, this is the storage tank that I filmed the other day making. It's my little clear line. Hopefully when I fill this thing up, it'll show in the little line how much is in there. There's a little cap on the top to cover it, keep rainwater out. It just feeds in to my loop. There's an extra one for the second one for the bottom shelf we talked about the other day. It's an automatic air vent. It should vent all the air out of it. Just need to let it run. Hopefully that'll work. This is coming from the pump that's going to the pump. And those two lines go in the ground and they come out in the tank where I was showing you earlier. So now it's just time to start filling it up. It's gonna be kind of slow, but. I'm just using regular antifreeze like for a car. It doesn't really matter as long as it doesn't freeze and break during the winter. And this is concentrate, you have to mix it with water. I got five gallons of distilled water in the bucket. So I'm gonna put three or four of these in there and then I'll mix the water in and then we'll turn the pump on. like it holds a little more than I thought it did. Well, I think I said two or three gallons the other day. Well, you can see the two gallon mark. That's two gallons.
Try to add a little water now. And try to mix it up a little bit. Oof. That section of pipe holds about eight gallons. All right, I'm gonna open the valve, let it start filling the system. And there we go. I'm gonna turn the pump on, the recirculation pump. See if it'll pull a little bit of it through there. You can see it start. You can see it dropping. And you can hear the air vent hissing. So it's pushing the air out.
pretty cool little air bubbles climbing out don't hear any air going we can walk inside and look at the lines on the miners see if if it's running through there like it's supposed to be.